Hello Tauruses, so this is the reading that I got for you guys. So this reading is going to be kind of like a timeless reading. So whenever you feel the urge to watch this video, that's probably when it's going to resonate the most for you, okay? So I got the Ace of Cups in reverse. I also got the Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords in reverse, Five of Swords in reverse, Two Wands, and Emperor. So I love this card in the last position, okay? Because this does represent Taurus energy. But whenever you're getting a positive card in the last position, things are going to be in your favor, okay? And it's in your sign. So I feel like a lot of you guys, you guys are taking back your power. You're taking back what is yours, okay? And for some of you guys, it's probably regarding to putting yourself first. Um, probably was dealing with somebody and you was constantly giving, 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 and you was losing yourself. And I feel like a lot of you guys are taking back your power you're taking the control back okay and you're in your full you in your fullness of knowing who you are knowing what you bring okay and you're not changing for anybody okay that's what i'm saying um now i do got the ace of cups in the verse so i feel like a lot of you guys probably don't even have love for somebody no for somebody no more okay um some of you guys have stopped communicating with this person okay and you're focusing on yourself okay you're focusing on your future focusing on yourself the seven of cups being there i feel like this person was all the time was keeping you confused you didn't know what was going on and it was affecting your peace of mind and a lot of you guys are coming back and aligning yourself to who you are again by not having feelings for this person by not talking to this person, not communicating to this person as well, okay? Um, so the signs they might be dealing with, it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, particularly Pisces. I'm also getting air, Libra, Cross, Gemini, and I'm getting Aries as well. Now, um, for the Romance Angel, I got Express Your Love, You Deserve Love, Release Your Ex, and Passion. So with Release Your Ex, I definitely see you <laughs> releasing your ex. Now, Passion, okay, Passion could be sexual energy, Passion could be frustration passion could be anger <laughs> okay i feel like it's more like you're passionate about turning this negative situation into a positive situation okay you're passionate about being the best version okay of yourself by releasing this past person and i don't feel like a lot of you guys are having a struggle to release this person i feel like it's very it's very easy for you to do this okay with release your ex um now with express your love and you deserve love i feel like it's like you it's having this positive self-talk saying that you deserve better than this okay and it's like now you actually believe in it because sometimes with affirmation you got to keep saying it so many times for you to believe it and i feel like you are actually believing this and it's coming through and you're releasing what no longer it's serving you okay um, now, when I clarify express your love, I got the judgment, okay? So, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys know that there will be a second chance at love, okay? But it's like you have to free yourself from this. And when I clarify you deserve love, I got the world and the three of pentacles in the verse. Yeah, so you believe that you have to end a situation, okay? Probably with somebody who was all the time keeping you up in air, to get to this real love and when i clarify release your ex get the devil so this is somebody who is really serving as an antagonist in your love life okay this is someone who was trying to keep you stuck stagnant trying to how can i say try to you know overstep their boundaries okay i feel like this person was dealing with somebody else too with the devil card um now with passion I, when i clarify that i got the king of pentacles so I feel like this is you being passionate about putting yourself first, being passionate about maintaining and obtaining goals in your personal life and also in your love life, okay? Not settling for BS. Now, for the Oracle spread, I got inner wakefulness, feminine law of attraction, and inner guidance system. So yes, I love this. So Pisces did have this card too, so some of you guys are dealing with the Pisces, but with feminine law of attraction, it's like you connecting to the essence of who you are, okay? Okay, females, the feminine energy is creation, okay? And that's why if a guy, 
okay, is very creative. He's tapping into his femininity, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys are tapping into the essence of who you are, the feminine essence of you, okay? Now, Taurus is ruled by Venus. So, you guys are connecting with the planet of Venus, okay? And Venus is all about self-worth, self-value, money, and love, okay? And that's similar to Taurus energy, okay? So, it's like you're connecting back to yourself. And if you notice... There's a lot of orange in this color, and she's kind of holding it by her womb, okay? So this, for me, represents the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is very important because this is represent our, um, our self-value system. So when things are off, okay, usually your sacral chakra is not good. Usually not that energetic. You don't have your energy. You lack creation. Um, again, that magnetism, things are not being magnet to you. And I feel like a lot of you guys are healing your sacral chakra because probably this connection was depleting it because he was all the time giving and giving. But I feel like you guys are replenishing it and coming back to yourself, okay? Um, if you guys are in that healing phase um, still, I would say definitely look at sacral chakra healing, okay? Look on YouTube, research it. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Yoni Egg, but be if you are interested look up yoni egg okay and if you're interested of getting one get carnelian because carnelian is all with the sacral chakra okay now with inner guidance system yeah it's like you guys you guys are tapping back to yourself okay and this is beautiful and it's waking up the true essence of who you are okay so this is nice i love this um now when I clarify the Seven of Cups, I got the Strength in Reverse, the Sun in Reverse, and the Queen of Wands in Reverse. So some of you guys were dealing with the Leo. Um, but what I'm getting is that, yeah, this is somebody who you was all the time confused about because you didn't know where you stand with them, okay? Um, this person will all the time make you disappointed, okay? You feel unhappy, okay? Um, you feel like you was not getting the attention that you deserve and needed, Okay, and you also feel like this person was not being emotional, loyal to you, or just being loyal, period. Okay, now when I clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse, I got, I got the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Six of Swords, and the Star. Okay, yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys have moved on from this person, and you're focusing on yourself, okay. But not only healing. I feel like you're focusing on yourself, but you're being a beast at what things what things that you want to accomplish, your goals. You're being a beast. And I feel like this is serving you. This this past situation is serving as fuel. Okay? So let's just say this person, you was done with them. They never want to be committed. Now you're going extra hard of being in a connection that's going to be more than just a commitment. Okay? That means something that's going to lead to marriage. And that's your focus. And I, this is going to actually happen because I got the feminine law of attraction. It's going to be a magnet to you because you know what you deserve. You know what you are going to receive because you know your worth. Okay. Now, when I clarify the five of swords in reverse, I have the ace of wands in reverse, the king of wands, and the nine of pentacles. So you got three aces in reverse. So yeah, you definitely are letting go of a situation that was a false start okay you're being confident within your own self you're getting your you're getting back to who you are okay your self-esteem is increasing a whole lot your self-value realizing your self-value okay you're getting this back okay you're getting this back now when i clarify the two wands I got the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So this person, okay, that you love, they feel like they still can play games with you. However, what they don't know is that you guys have moved on from them energetically. Energetically, you have moved on from them. You know that there's going to be somebody that's better, someone who's actually going to be an emperor in your life or an empress in your life, not a knight, not somebody who's coming in and out not somebody who all the time move from one person to another you know there's gonna be somebody who's stationary in your life who is 
uh, a divine masculine or a divine feminine. Now, when I clarify the emperor and the four of pentacles, do your energy again. This represents the value too. I got the eight of wands in the verse, the moon in the verse, six of pentacles in the verse, and the eight of pentacles. So we got a pin number of eight. So for me, eight can represent karma. I feel like a lot of you guys learn your lesson. You pay you you pay your dues from this connection. And this connection could have been a karmic one. But you're working really hard for yourself. You're working really hard to be your best version. And because of you being your best version, you're going to attract the best. Okay? And you letting this person know this, you're no longer giving to the situation because you're putting yourself first. Okay? With the Four of Pentacles being there. Now, when I clarify the Ace of Cups in reverse, I got the Will of Fortune in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like you definitely have no love or you're about to have no love regarding to the past because this situation was depleting you. It was making you feel like nothing was moving, stuff was stagnant. It felt like a burden type of energy, okay? You are you don't have no love for that. Well, you will soon have no love for that. Now, for the angel answer, I got a year from now. Compromise, the situation improved, yes, and it's up to you. So I feel like with the card trying to say, a year from now, your love life is going to be completely different. It's going to be in the most positive direction. Because I feel like right now, this year is your focus of yourself. And probably a year from now, this is like when you probably are going to be in a the connection that you want to be. You're not settling. Okay. Um, now with compromise, okay, and the situation will improve. I feel like you are changing yourself to not be stagnant in this energy and what i mean is basically probably in the past you was wondering when this person would change or you stuck around when your spirit told you to not stick around but you're trying to see you try and give the person benefit of doubt i feel like you're compromising your you by changing to become a better version not compromising by giving so much in the situation anymore and because of you doing that okay by evolving your love life will improve okay and it's going to be more abundant now when it's up to you i feel like this is probably with the past i feel like past is still trying to see if they can still linger around you however the card trying to say don't let them do that they might even say let's just be friends let's be cordial no don't even give them that space too okay um so that's the reading that I got for you, Tauruses, okay? Um, I'm seeing that a lot of you guys are taking back your power, okay? And thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. And if this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenfortotarot at gmail.com.